So what's up everybody, today in this video we are going to check if the given number by the user is an Armstrong number or not, okay. So what is an Armstrong number? So let me give you an example. Let me consider a 3 digit number, let me, let me say it's 153, okay. So what is an Armstrong number? The here the number 153 will be said an Armstrong number if the sum of the cube of its digit is equal to the same number, okay. So I mean if here 1 raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 3 plus 3 raised to the power 3 is equal to the 153. So this is said to be an Armstrong number. And let me consider if the given number is of 4 digits. Okay. So if the given number is of 4 digits, then we have to use the fourth power. Okay. So I mean to say here the number 1123 is said to will be said an Armstrong number if the sum of its digit okay so 1 raised to the power 4 plus this 1 raised to the power 4 plus 2 raised to the power 4 plus 3 raised to the power 4 is equal to the 1123 okay so it depends upon the number of the digit that is present in the number okay so let me first define some integer numbers okay let me say this original number okay so let me first then a message for the user please enter the number okay okay now so the first task here will be calculating the number of the digit okay so the in user can either input the one digit number two digit number three digit four digit any digit number the user can enter okay so first of all we must have to calculate the how many digit there is in the given number okay so to calculate, let me first define another variable num1 and num2. Let me say okay. So let me first um, scan this value from the user. Person D and percent only zero. Okay, so I am going to copy this value to the num1 and to the num2. Okay, so to calculate the number of digits, let me um, define one variable that will be count and initialize it to 0. Okay, so we are going to use while group while num1 is not equals to 0. Okay, so what we are going to do here is we will be taking the, each digit of a number and for each digit of number we will we are going to increase this count value. Okay, so uh, in the previous video I have shown you how we can take the each digit of the number and take the sum of it okay so if you haven't uh, watched this with watched that video you can find the link in the description below okay so we are going to do is num1 okay so we are dividing by number to zero and so for each number digit sorry we are going to increase the count value okay so this logic i have described in the previous video so please go and watch that video okay so so why have used num1 because this num1 will be zero at the end of this loop okay if we use the original number here this original number here then this num will be equals to zero at the end of this loop but uh, we have to do one more task that is to calculate the sum of the digits okay so for that i have implemented the another number here that is num2 okay so for that also i am going to use the same concept so while num2 is not equals to 0 so num first of all so what we have to do to find the sum of the uh, number we have to first define the variable sum initialize to 0 and we will be also needing another variable that is reminder okay reminder okay so the remainder will be what num2 modulus of 10 Okay, and num2 will be num2 by 10 and the sum. Okay, the sum will be what? Sum equals to sum plus. So what will be? It will be the remainder. Okay, so uh, I have forget here that I have also included here the method h function header. Okay, so why we are implementing uh, importing this header? 
because we are going to use the power function okay so power of what the remainder to the power so what count so what we are doing here so we are first taking the remainder okay the re remainder will be the num2 modulus of 10 okay then the remainder will be the what the digit of that number okay so the power of the remainder that is the digit okay let me uh, give you an example okay let me say the number is 153 okay so first of all this operation will return you the, this digit okay 3 okay and the here what we are going to do is sum equals to um, as you know this is equivalent to sum equals to sum plus the power of rain and what from right you should know this okay this is the shortcut form of this operation here okay so we, it is returning 3 raised to the power okay this is 3 to the power the count okay the count variable we have taken from here okay this count variable will be the what the number of the digit okay the that number of the digit uh, so okay at the end we will get the sum of the entire digit that and the raised to the power of that digit okay sum of the raised to the power of the number of the digit okay so at the end so to check whether it is the arms of number or not we will be using if condition if the original num is equals to sum okay the original number this if this is equals to the final one is sum that we get with here then we can print what the number is um, strong i have make a typo here strong right um strong else what we can print is the number is not um strong okay so let me compile this so i have got a no error here let me run this okay so let me enter the number that i have given you as an example one of which is okay so it is giving the number is an arm sum number okay so let me try the number that is not an arm sum. let me try one four five okay so the number is not arm sum. okay so uh, let me try for the four digit also uh, okay let me google it example of four digit arm sum. example of four digit arm sum number okay so the example okay eight two zero eight right so let me compile this 8208 okay see the number is a armstrong number so okay this was for today hope you get this concept if you have any problem you can feel free to comment down below okay